a madness! You can scream, you can run, but you can't hide from the horror when creatures from the silver screen invade our world. Keep telling yourself it's only a movie. It's Cinema Madness! this. Hmm. Normally, I only use my potions for true love, but what the hey? Come to me, cross the gap that separates real from unreal. Come! Help me with this couch, would you? Send a bad idea. Careful, Archie. Pour too much and this mixture will explode. Good news. Huh? Sorority Chicks Meet the Creatures from the Danger Zone opens Friday at the Revival Theater. What's a Revival Theater? A place where they show movies so old that some aren't even on video yet. So what do you say, Arch? Sorry, I've got plans for Friday. How about you, Betty? I've got plans, too, if my date remembers he asked me out to dinner that night. Say, look, your lab partner needs help. Better go help. Everything okay? Fat lot you care. You're too busy convincing some sucker to go see your oddball monster flicks. If I go to the movies alone, people will think I'm some kind of obsessed weirdo. You are an obsessed weirdo. Yeah, but I'm an obsessed weirdo with feelings. Have you been following your notes? Huh? <gasps> Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Ah! Boys, let's try this one more time. It's his fault. <sighs> I'm leaving for one minute. If you don't explain who is responsible when I return, you'll both be in detention so long you'll need your mail sent here. One more detention and my dad will ground me forever. I can't take the fall on this one, Jughead. But you're the one who did it. So, come on, Jug, old buddy, old pal. I'll owe you one. Gentlemen? You got me, sir. I confess. Clear your calendar for Friday. Studio insisted on authentic Indian rubber for the creature suits. Fascinating. I'm so glad to be here. You owed me one. Don't worry about the time. This is the special three hour director's cut. But this is so boring. Boring. Bodacious. Ah, I see you've discovered B movie screen queen Vanessa Blaze. Melissa, are you down there? The fellas from the frat invited us to a sock hop. Uh-huh. I'm excited, too. Wait, let me come down and tell you all about it. What a knockout! Huh? She doesn't get bumped off this soon, does she? 
Oh no, she's in it for the rest of the way. Wow, what a great movie. I want to see it again. So you've finally been paroled. A full week of detention, and I had to clean up the chemistry lab. Could have been worse. Yeah, luckily I was a first-time offender. Speaking of huh? offenders... Yeah, Jughead, you should have let Reggie suffer the consequences. He never takes responsibility for his own mistakes. Taking the blame was the only way to get him to go to the movie. Now try getting him to not go. Hey, Reggie, what brings you out of the danger zone? Ho, ho, very amusing, Andrews. You're almost as funny as my three-year-old niece. Wow, Ronnie, I never noticed before, but you look a bit like Vanessa Blaze. Back off, fanboy. Seriously, Reggie, I thought you never missed a screening. First off, I am not a fanboy. I am a connoisseur of fine acting and underrated talent. Secondly, last night was the final screening. Ah, the fickleness of true love. True love for her? If Vanessa ever met Reggie Mantle, she'd be all over me. <laughs> <laughs> this straw is reality. Get a grip. It's just a shame I'm stuck in Riverdale. Hollywood's more my type of town. Blaze and I would make a beautiful couple. Reg, I got bad news. Vanessa Blaze died in a plane crash 20 years ago. Say it ain't so! That's not fair! I do have good news. The Revival Theater is showing another Vanessa Blaze film starting Friday. Really? Yeah, one I've never seen. Biker Chicks vs. the Tiny Terrors. A real departure for her as an actress. In this one, she's blonde. I'm there. Fanboy. That does it, Bear. I'd beat ya. And by biker law, that means this gang is mine. So, scram! <laughs> I'm leader of the pack now! To your bikes! This is with my chopper. What a woman! I have to meet her. This must be the place. <gasps> Who's knocking around my yard at this late hour? Reggie, ma'am. Reggie Mantle. Well, Mr. Reggie Mantle, what brings you to see Miss Lucinda? I need your magic. Why? True love. Come right in. You say you learned about me from that Archie in his newspaper? And, hmm, I should give that boy a commission. Miss Lucinda, I need to meet Carlotta. Then look her up in the phone book, boy. That won't work. She's not alive. Oh, now, nah, Sonny. Miss Lucinda doesn't mess with that kind of juju. No, no, no. The woman I love is a character in a movie. A wonderful, beautiful, sensitive biker chick. You have it bad. I can help, but it's dangerous. That will bring her to me? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Hold your horses, Romeo. With danger, there is always the need for great trustworthiness. I'm renowned for my trust. Trust me. This is very huh? powerful stuff. The user must be accountable for the consequences. Sure, sure, whatever. No whatevers. Do you, Reggie Mantle, promise to take full responsibility for this magic? I promise. Okay, this is how you do it. Everyone is gone. Come 
to me. Cross the gap that separates real from unreal. Come. Cool. It worked. Carlotta, my love, you're really here. In the flesh, daddy -o. Say, you're kind of cute. I knew it. I knew you'd like me. Climb on, cool cat. He's on a diet. He's just having the shake for breakfast, lunch, and dinner all at the same time. Brain freeze. Ah, that was good. Huh? What was that? Yowza! Ow! Which one of you kicked me? Hey, losers. Good morning to you, too. Who's your friend with the interesting wardrobe? The name's Carlotta. Don't wear it out. Veronica, right? Huh? She's just how you said. And how would that be? Hello, Carlotta. My name is Betty, and this is Archie and Jughead. Lottie da a charm school grad. Reg, I'll be over by the jukebox. Isn't she the best? Yeah, but the best what? Well, she's certainly a better choice than some flickering image on a movie screen. Yeah, all uh, right. Speaking of movies, how'd you like the Vanessa Blaze flick? Uh, real good. I've got tickets to the matinee show. That is, if they have the theater repaired in time. Repaired? Didn't you hear? Vandals trashed the place last night. And half the town, too. There are police reports about crazed raccoons or monkeys. They may have to call in animal control. Sounds like a weird mystery in the works. Guys, huh? I just had this dry clean. Onward! <laughs> Reg, you got a quarter for the jukebox. Nice to know she cares. I hope those chocolate stains come out. Don't worry about that. Worry about those imps. Where do you think they came from? Don't know. The only clue I got was how that Carlotta gal acted like nothing was happening. Yeah, something about her. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> We've got to stop this. If only for the sake of our clothes. Were the imps in here? No, the building got caught in a spin cycle. Of course they were here. They're everywhere. Calm down, Archie. So, Jughead, how was your movie? Not what I expected from a Vanessa Blaze monster movie. First off, there was no Vanessa Blaze, and secondly, no monsters. Sounds screwy. No actress, no monsters, just empty sets. Not action, no dialogue. What cinematic genius. Jughead, you told Reggie that this biker movie was a real change for Vanessa Blaze. Why? It was the only time in her career she dyed her hair. She claimed being a blonde seemed more exotic for her role as... Carlotta! Of course! Biker Chicks versus the Tiny Terrors! Jughead, go get your cult movie guide and learn everything you can about this movie. And what are you going to do? I'm going to pay a visit to our local fanboy. Archie, what brings you around? Are you here to gawk at my new girlfriend? No, I'm here to ask, what the heck are you doing? Isn't it obvious? Reggie Mantle knows how to take care of a lady. She ordered you to do it, didn't she? 
Yes. She says it's biker law that I wait on the leader of the pack, hand and foot. Reggie, I know where Carlotta came from, and it's the same place the imps came from. I don't know what you're talking about. Carlotta simply rode into town and instantly fell for my rakish good looks. Can it, Reggie? Those imps are wreaking havoc all over town, and you're somehow responsible for this, right? You're barking up the wrong tree, Andrews. Honest. Is being Vanessa Blaze's lackey worth the knowledge that people might get hurt? I'm out of shape. I gotta cut down to 20 burgers a day. What is it, Jughead? My book says the way to defeat the imps is through the king. They follow him anywhere. Yeah, in the movie, Carlotta took on the king one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, uh, oh shoot. Aha! That's not all. The imps let all the zoo animals out of their cages and then headed to the Riverdale Daycare Center. Oh no! My niece Amy goes there! of real and surreal. Welcome home, your missing friends. When they get here, I'm going in. He'll be trapped in the movie with them. A tough lesson to learn, but he agreed to take responsibility. He must finish what he started. Reggie, do you understand what you're doing? Yes, I finally do. Now stand back and let me be heroic for once. I want my chopper! King, King, King! Come and get it! King, King! Holy cow! Ah! Uh, huh? Told you I'd 
be a movie star someday. You're gonna pay, punk. <gasps> this is about to become a real horror flick. Now, Jughead, now! You Reggie, really you're back! Did it. Wow, I guess I did. That's right, Reggie Mantle, superhero. Oh, brother. I made the portal so that only those who escaped could go back. To bring Reggie back, all we needed to do was stop the film. You knew he'd get out the whole time. I always know what's best. And so the imps were returned to their movie world, and Reggie gave up his new girlfriend. There was a lot of cleanup work thanks to the imps' visit. Reggie was so delighted with his new sense of responsibility that he volunteered to help round up the loose zoo animals. Get along there. Shoo! March! I guess it was seeing the scared faces of those kids that convinced him to do the right thing. Of course, Reggie gave up going to Jughead's movies. But then, everyone has different tastes in a little town called Riverdale. <laughs>